How's it going, everybody? Fear the Beardo here. Ladies and gentlemen, yesterday, for the second time, Major League Baseball hosted their annual Field of Dreams baseball game, which is based off of the iconic movie starring Kevin Costner, James Earl Jones, and the late Ray Liotta. It's a very special movie. It's a fantastic movie. I don't have to explain this movie. Most of you, many of you, are familiar with this film. So... MLB, Major League Baseball, they thought because this year the game was so popular last year that for this year we have the Cubbies and the Cincinnati Reds playing against each other. Well, the MLB thought in Field of Dreams fashion they should bring back legendary broadcaster of the Chicago Cubs, Harry Carey, back to sing the seventh inning stretch. And now while the video you do see that the fans are having a good time and the fans took the hologram Harry Carey. Harry Carey passed away in 1998, ladies and gentlemen. So the hologram of the late Harry Carey singing the seventh inning stretch, take me out to the ball game. Uh, it was very interesting for fans at home and for fans watching on the TV, some people of which found it very disturbing. Let's take a look at some of these tweets. Uh, some of these highlighted tweets just from some blue check marks. Yo, that Harry Carey hologram was not it. Who cleared that? My grandma just called me on the phone terrified because she just saw Harry Carey alive and well. Hologram Harry Carey is perhaps the ultimate example of just because you can doesn't mean you should. And then uh, some memes, a Harry Carey hologram, and of course you are going to get the classic Will Ferrell from uh, Saturday Night Live. And let's just take a small peek, a quick little peek because we don't want to get copyrighted, uh, but we will take a quick little peek at some of the hologram footage from last night's game of Harry Carey. Hey! So, as you can see, that's all we're going to play. So, say what you want. That's all we're going to play because copyright issues. But um, you can clearly see that the people at the game, the people attending the game, took it a completely different way than the people at home did. And that's just a classic case of, I guess you had to be there to understand it. Uh, but it is what it is. What do you guys think of this Weird, not so weird, Harry Carey hologram brought to the Field of Dreams game. Was it in touch with the message that what they were going for with the Field of Dreams tone? Or did they cross the line just a little bit? Let me know down in the comment section below your opinion. If you found this video entertaining, give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Share it with a friend who you think would enjoy it. Subscribe to this channel if you're new. And we'll talk to you again soon.